So boys and girls, at this point, you guys have earned, learned an awful lot about fish this week and the ocean, and we are now on our last day, and we are in the abyss. And way down there, there are things called the anglerfish. And I thought it'd be fun for you to make a piece of art that is inspired by the anglerfish. So let me show you what you have. When you come in, when you get dismissed from this video, you are going to see that there are six tubs. Each tub is going to have a different piece of metal in it. You are going to take one piece of metal out of each tub. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to see that there's a wire in one of them. That makes six. So you're going to have five pieces of metal and one piece of wire. Finally, at the very, very end, you're going to see that we have some strips of metal cut up as well. But that's going to be for way, way later. We'll see if we get that far. Let's first figure out what you're going to do with this. Well, first of all, you're going to look at these and you're going to say, if this is my anglerfish and this is big old mouth, where, which one would work nicely as a walk? an eye. So I might say, hmm, I think that's nice. The next thing I have to figure out is I know that the anglerfish has a top fin, a bottom fin, a back fin, and a fin right here that's on the side of his body. So we're going to look at these shapes here a minute. You can turn them around if you like. And you're going to say to yourself, mm, 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 mm. which one would work nice as a top, a side, a bottom, or a back? Something to consider. Well, personally, I'm kind of thinking for myself that maybe... This would be nice for a back fin. This might be nice for a, oh, maybe too big. Huh? Uh, let's see, maybe this, oh, okay, maybe, hmm, maybe this for the back, oh, maybe this for the back. Okay, I like that better. Maybe this for the bottom. Maybe this for the top. Yeah, I like that. So now that I have that set up, I'm gonna say, okay, if this is my side fin, this is a pretty cool piece of metal. There's gold on one side, silver on the other. I'm gonna scooch this away now that I have my plan. And I'm gonna take out this red piece of construction paper. Now what's nice about this is that it's nice and squishy. So I can put some designs on here. So I have my metal. I'm going to take this pencil and I'm just going to push into the metal. Now what's nice is because I have the red construction paper underneath, it just kind of looks, it makes a nice little squishy pattern here. And when I put my pencil in here, it's making some nice designs. So when I think about lines, there's zigzag lines, squiggly lines, straight lines, curvy lines, fat lines, whatever. I've decided to make kind of straight lines. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna decide that that is going to be my side fin. Now let me tell you, how is that gonna get attached on there? Well, I have thumbtacks for you. To begin with, I have gold thumbtacks. So I might say, ooh, if I flip it over to the silver side, I could attach this on here with a gold thumbtack. Now, you might say, what? I thought I was so strong and I'm pushing this on here so hard and it won't go in. Well, guess what? If you just put it on there a little bit, you're going to have an awesome counselor somewhere close to you 
who will be willing to push that all the way in. And in fact, I'm going to have a few little hammers there as well for you to be able to push that in. So let's say I push that all the way into my angler fish. There it is. It's not going anywhere. How cool is that? Whoop! Now, let's go to my back fin. I got my back fin here. I want my back fin to look pretty awesome. So maybe on my back fin, I'll do a curly Q design. Here we go. Here we go. Now, if this is my curly Q design, I can put it on the top of my fish like this, or I can flip it over and have it be that my back fin is attached from the back. Now, how am I going to attach that thing? Oh, good old thumbtack. Put it right here. Oh, I can't do it. It's so hard. Counselor comes along. No problem, kid. Let me push that in for you. They push it in. When we flip it over, look how cool that looks. You got your side fin. You got your back fin going there. How cute is that? Let's talk about the eyeball. Hello, eyeball. That could be nice. Oh, it's silver on both sides. I don't want my eyeball to be boring, though. So maybe I'll take this. Maybe I'll do a circle inside a circle inside a circle, kind of crazy, just like that. Put it here. There we go. Whoa! Guess how you're gonna attach it? Hello, thumbtack. I'll put it right there. Put it right in the center. Push it down just a little bit. And later on, your counselor can come along and push that right in there for you. Now, remember how we had needed to have a top fin and a bottom fin? Let's see. There. Yeah, I kind of like that. So this is going to be my top fin. First of all, I'm going to have to decide a design. Second of all, I'm going to have to decide do I want to attach it to the front or to the back. I kind of like it back there. I have to think of a line. Hmm. Oh, let's do zigzag. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Zigzag. I'm a zigging. I'm a zagging. Look at me go. Do I want it on this side, on the back? I'm going to do it on the back. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to take one of my sweet little thumbtacks. I'm going to push it in. Uh, it's too hard! Counselor, can you help me? Sure. Let me push it in. You're all good. There we go. So now we have top fin, back fin, side fin, eyeball. What do we have still? Hello! Bottom fin. So... On this one, let's see, we had zigzag, curly cue, straight. Let's talk about the loop de loop. Maybe this time I go loop de loop de loop de loop de. Keep doing this. Maybe on this one, I'm going to attach it to the front. That's kind of fun. Take another thumbtack. Put it on there. Oh, and maybe I go, oh, that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to do a couple of thumbtacks, like maybe in a row. There we go. There we go. Like I said, the counselor is going to help you push it all the way in. Now, a lot of you know that an anglerfish has this thing that comes out the top. Well, the other day I had some girls do a little hole right there in the top. And then Daniel and Tommy and Sean cut these wires for you. This wire is going to go right here in that hole right there. And that is going to be 
where your lure is gonna come out, but that is a really long wire. So look what you're gonna do instead. You're gonna take this wire, and it might be hard as, at first, but I, I want you to try it. You're gonna curl it around. You're gonna take this right here, you're gonna take it with your thumb, and you are gonna start to curl it around. Remember earlier when we made a swirl with a line? Well, this time you're gonna make a swirl with a wire. How fun is that? And again, if you can't do it, you'll ask your counselor to help you. We're gonna have this going right here. And now, right here, we're gonna put it into the hole of your angler fish. And this is gonna come out right there. Look how cool that is. You now have a wire that's gonna stick in there and we'll probably put a little glue in there as well. Oh my goodness, are we gonna put some glue in there? Gonna put some glue in there as well and now you have this super cool angler fish with a lure ready to eat some people. Uh, did I say people? No, fish. Now, if you have some time left over, which you might, you could flip it over. You could take a strip of paper like a strip of metal like this. And look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut like I'm going this direction. I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna cut this way. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut this way. Do you see how I'm cutting some very long triangles? What you can do is your counselor will probably give you some masking tape. You could put a tooth right here on the back and you're going to put it down with some masking tape. You'll take another one of these, maybe put it right here, and you're gonna tape it down with some masking tape. Catching on? We'll go right here, we'll put it right there. We'll tape it down with some masking tape. And now when we flip it over, whoo, scary! You now have an angler fish. And if you cut too many teeth, no big deal. You can share them with a friend. You now have a very cool angler fish ready to go. Have fun.